Hey yo girl, what's going on guys? It's Chaos back here once again and so so happy. WrestleMania was everything that it needed to be. WrestleMania, uh Rey Mysterio and and Cody Rhodes had a had a what I consider a really good match, even though I now hate Rey Mysterio more than anything, for disrespecting a comic book hero like Captain America by putting the M on it, making him Captain Mexico? What? Or Captain Mysterio? That's stupid. It was okay when he did it with the Flash, but come on, Captain America? How, how dare you? Anyway, um, I, I want to make this... <sighs> I want to make this video short and sweet because I'm 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 still I'm still affected or still infected I guess you say but my um, I have no voice hardly but I'm still gonna do this because I, I love doing this and I love uh, putting my opinions out there. Russell Mania. There were moments that didn't give me enough. The uh, when you took Daniel Bryan and Sheamus off of the main card, just so you could fill in with all this nonsense, that that that, that took something special away from the card. Five, ten, twenty years down the road, you're gonna look back on this, and this is not the first time that they've taken title matches off of Raw. Does anybody remember a couple of years ago? where they took the tag title off the unification tag title match Morrison, Miz, Primo, Carlito they they were gonna unify the titles at WrestleMania and they took it off the card and we didn't even know we were sitting at home watching it and we didn't even know until about halfway through when we just was like why is the title match not coming on and then we looked on WWE.com and there it was uh, so I think it's an epic fail and I said they're already starting out and it looks like it's gonna be a night of epic fails but I I disagree it wasn't it was a night of intrigue a night of just absolute greatness I give WrestleMania a solid nine and the reason I give WrestleMania a solid nine is because of uh, the way it ended. I always, I've always said the way you end, the end always justifies the mean. And if the end is horrible, or it doesn't make sense, or you don't give the fans what they want, then your whole show is shot. Now, I'm sure that that wasn't the popular decision. But that right there shows how smart the WWE finally is. World Re Oh, I'm sorry. They're not wrestling anymore. They're just entertainment. Which, and don't worry. When I get my voice back, I'm going to shoot on that. I am going to shoot all over that. And I'm going to shoot on Vince. And I'm going to shoot on everybody at the company. And I do like what CM Punk said. You're in the, somebody tweeted him about him being in the entertainment. He's like, fuck that, I'm a wrestler. The true words were never spoken because tonight, him and Randy Orton had one of the greatest matches, technically, that I've seen in a long time. And I put that match on like my list. The list that I did, the video where I named off the best, the absolute best matches, I put it on that list. I put Triple H and Undertaker on that list. I don't, however, put any other match on that list because no other match on the card, and I knew it wasn't going to happen, didn't live up to it. The, the World Heavyweight title match failed to deliver a stellar opening. It just, and it could have. It could have been great, but they failed to give. It started off really good. The first 10 minutes or so were really good, and then after that, it just kind of fell flat on its face. 
Uh, it, there was a, it was a nice ending, though. I'll give him that. But other than that, uh, Mysterio and uh, and Cody Rhodes had a, had a good match, solid match, just like I said. I said they were going to have a solid match, and they did. Um, the eight-man tag was a whole five minutes of nothing, pretty much. It, I don't even know that the whole match from bell to bell was five minutes. Uh, their intros were longer than the match was, which was it's really kind of sad considering you got that many guys. You should have at least given them ten minutes in the ring, but you had to make time for the other nonsense. Uh, I I was amazed by Snooki being able to flip like she did. I didn't know Fat could flip like that, but anyway, that's. More power to her, but uh, <laughs> Triple H and The Undertaker, the end of that match is just awe-inspiring. It's just, it's one of those things to where it got old. It started to get old quick, where like, they're hitting each other's finishing moves, and, and then Triple H... And, and it looked so much like because nobody had ever done this before. I think Sean tried it but didn't do it uh, either last year or the year before where Triple H gave him the tombstone. Doosh, folded the arms over, pushed the hair back, and stuck the tongue out. Of course, I don't have The Undertaker's tongue. His tongue comes all the way down here. Michelle must be very happy, by the way. Um... But the, I thought it was done there. And when he strapped on Hell's Gate, I started to think, well, this would be a good ending. And when Triple H dropped the sledge, I knew it was done. I knew it was over. Um, the uh, the Cena Miz match, which is not going to be remembered as a great main event. It's not. That was not a great main event. The the build up was phenomenal. Uh, the way it ended was was absolutely amazing. But uh, the match itself was not all that special. I thought the outside interference uh, with Riley was appropriately where it needed to be in spots. You know, he he wasn't constantly getting involved, but it was just in spots, and it was good. And Riley. God bless him, took a hell of a shot with that briefcase because it got thrown and hit him in his face. And I didn't see that he got his hands up to block it. It looked like he took it all in the face. Uh, so that's just a testament of how tough Alex Riley is. And he's probably going to feel it tomorrow. I'm pretty sure he probably feels it now. But uh, I called it. I called it. I, call, I, I said this is how it needs to go down. And, and it did. And uh, WWE, you can send me a check just any time. Any time you get ready, you can send me a check. Because I kind of feel like you stole that from me. And because I had my predictions video up on Friday, you had two days to see it before tonight. You had more than 48 hours to see it. So, uh... But of course, I'm not gonna sit by my, uh, I'm not gonna sit by my mailbox waiting on a check that I know is not gonna come. However, uh, it would be nice to be appreciated. <laughs> oh man, you guys just don't know. You just don't know. Uh, everybody gets on here, and you either got one thing or another to say. You're either great videos, man. You're such a great, brilliant mind, or you're stupid and you're horrible and whatever and blah 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 whatever whatever the fact is I told you how it needed to go and there it went I could have missed every prediction that I made every prediction I made I could have missed it but been exactly right about that match and I still would have won. Because it doesn't matter. The end justifies the mean. It has to. For the world to make sense, 
the end has to justify the mean. And it did. And now, I'm done. Chaos has spoken. And I'm